Kinders. Um, today we're going to talk about some number bonds. Hopefully you still have all of your counters. We're going to be using these every week for some project or not, so always keep those handy. I'm going to pull down my screen. Hoping the sunshine is not too bright here. Okay, so here are some of these counters. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of them. Let me put a circle around them. It's kind of a big circle. I wish I had a smaller one. Okay, there's a circle around my six. I have six. Now, some are yellow. I'm going to put the yellow ones over here. I still have six. Do you believe me? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. If I put a line down the middle, I have four on this side and two on that side. I have six, but I have two groups. And I want to show you how to do that on a with a number bond. I had six, and then I had two groups. What were my two groups? Do you remember? Four, four yellow and two red. Four yellow, two red. Six all together, four red, four yellow, two red. It's called a number bond. The, the whole thing goes here in the, in the top circle and then there are two lines to the parts that make it. The parts of six, four and two. Show you one more number bond. What if I, let's see, what if I turn over one of these? Okay, now I have, I still have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, but now the parts are three and three. So I could show that in a number bond. I have six and the parts are should use my little eraser here. Three red and three yellow. That's a number bond for six. Three and three. In your math packet today, we're going to be doing number bonds. So let's have a look. Here's your page. I think I might need to push this back a little. Maybe I should have done that. There we go. There's your page. And they are number bonds. Let me see. Let's give me 